If you're an Amazon seller that runs rebate campaigns, and maybe right now you're doing gift cards, but you would prefer to be doing PayPal, or maybe right now you're doing PayPal, but you're doing it all manually and you're sending the friends and family route to actual customers, well, Keep watching this video because me and Troy are gonna show you a way to automate the PayPal rebate process and it's in a more professional way so you're not actually sending it through the whole friends and family way. You know, that's not how PayPal actually intended you to, to use that feature. So keep watching this video, click the thumbs up button if you get value from this video and let's go ahead and introduce Troy and jump into the video. So what's up Troy, how's it going? Hey Ian, yeah, great to be here, excited to cover this. This is a pretty big release. Uh, definitely a higher demand feature for us as those that were running uh, rebates at scale or maybe just getting started utilizing rebates as a strategy and really wanting uh, PayPal as an option. Uh, we have now a, a good amount of funding options to where sellers at all levels are covered. As you mentioned, we're doing this in a way that is a bit more compliant as some of these services are meant to be and that ensures that you are uh, on the up and up being safe um, when you're uh, utilizing some of these strategies. Definitely, yeah. And so if you don't know who I am, my name is Ian Smith. I run an Amazon marketing agency called Evolve Media. We work with a lot of Amazon sellers to help them with running Facebook ads. Now managing Amazon PPC campaigns, we build out a lot of messenger bots and do a lot of email marketing. So if you need help scaling up your Amazon business and wanna leverage some of these really cool things that we're gonna talk about in this video, then book a free consulting call with me by going to evolvemedia.agency. All right, so let's go ahead. Troy, go ahead and share your screen and show us how to get this whole PayPal messenger bot set up. Yeah, no, absolutely. So here on my screen, I'm in seller.tools. Now, of course, when we roll out features that focus on ManyChat, we wanna make it uh, as easy as possible to get started. Uh, we know that that's kind of the biggest uh, challenge, let's say, hiccup in terms of leveraging these more advanced strategies. So we've got sellers, again, at all levels covered with some mini chat flows, specifically the PayPal rebate automation flow, uh, completely for free. And now where you can find that in your Solar Tools account is under mini chat and then flows. And we've got that first uh, that first position here, uh, knowing again that there's a lot of sellers really excited about us rolling this out. And as you may be familiar with our prior rebate automation flows, it's really very simple to get set up. So we can click on it. It'll break down what the flow entails, directly integrated with PayPal. And then when we click download now, it's going to kick off the uh, mini chat template process. So if you don't have the Solar Tools app, uh, which uh, we've developed alongside ManyChat, comes in and, and is automatically added when you add any of our templates or free flows. So also what's happening when you're in installing this template is a lot of custom fields and bot fields are being created in the process and that saves a lot of time. Troy, tell us about those bot fields and they're, they're different bot fields if you're a Seller Tools user and you're already using the pick reward gift card flow, these are different custom fields and bot fields, right Troy? Correct, yep. And in the three-step process that we take to import um, any template, this flow in particular, I'll just walk right through it because this is just how simple this is. If we click install, and then as you mentioned, uh, Ian, this is when you can take a look in this last uh, last step here to finalize what we're importing is any of the uh, fields that we want to update. And then make sure, to your point, if you're using both um, uh, rebates and gift cards, we have dedicated uh, transaction IDs for PayPal, unique identifier to each transaction, as well as that rebate automation gift card link. Once you click install now, it's gonna bring that over into our ManyChat account and allow us then to configure the settings. What, what Troy, I don't know if you, you fully understand, but what Troy is saying is that with these unique custom fields to this actual template, you can now run multiple ASIN rebates. So really two, not more than two, but if you are already running the pick reward template, then you can have one ASIN dedicated to that one, and then you can have a different ASIN dedicated to a PayPal rebate, right, Troy? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, no, absolutely. You can you can really configure it with uh, with um, uh, the unique uh, rebate type across uh, number of ASINs and have those running in tandem at the same time without any issue. Nice, okay. So here in the settings, again, if you've already imported some of our prior rebate automation uh, flows, you'll, you'll note just 
how few pieces of information we need, uh, whether it's the API counter name. So that's the name of the counter that we use, the seller tools counter that we use uh, to limit the number of customers that are um, uh, eligible for our offer in any one uh, day. Uh, products ASIN, the max daily giveaways, which essentially takes that counter that we configure and have named previously and says, okay, how many um, giveaways do we want to realize in a day? Do we want to do 10? Do we want to do five? Just simply add that number there. Just a quick fun fact, if you didn't know, the reason why it's asking for the ASIN is because during the order verification process, when they give, when the user gives their order ID, it's then going to through the API, check that order ID and check the ASIN on that order to make sure that they actually bought the right ASIN during that order verification. Right. Yeah, it's really slick that it does that. And that's, you know, one big step in that automation is it looks at the order, it checks the status, it makes sure that eligible ASIN is there. So the last few pieces of information we need include the optimized link. So of course, we want to add a keyword to this process um, so that we realize uh, the ranking benefit. So again, this, this can be customized to search find by. The beauty of this, again, it's a free flow to easily make that change. That's where we'll drive that customer to purchase our product for the rebate. Optimize review link. We automatically request reviews on the other side of the product, um, of the rebate being received by the customer. And this is where we can add in a link we'd like, uh, whether it's a, a pre-filled pre five-star, whether it's at amazon.com slash RYP. Um, you can use any link that you would like. You know, that's definitely an optional thing if you want to link them over to the review area. Troy, what is your thoughts on in Instead of linking, just telling them navigate on your own, because I don't know, Amazon may see that link and they may be a little bit hesitant. Uh, what I like is as more of a fallback, let's say on the link side is that amazon.com backslash RYP. It's a general link um, where you can see pretty much any of the products you've bought. And if it's been a recent purchase, which again, we'll, we'll time when we ask for this review, uh, it's going to be higher up. Uh, on that page. So, so then once we add in, if we'd like our optimized review link, uh, we can then add, our, add in our product name. And this is just a short title, not an optimized title like on Amazon. So what our product is, the review request waiting period. And again, this is when we would trigger that optimized review link if we so choose to use it. Um, and so we can set that up knowing when our customer is going to get the greatest benefit of our product, what makes the most sense in terms of the timing. And we actually natively send them an email in mini chat. And this is an important port point, Ian, because we're not beholden to the 24 hour rule. Um, this really opens up the potential to time the delivery of this email um, really, really at that ideal window as we will test and, and really see what, what works. And then last is our wallet balance minimum. The feature I'm going to share with you next, um, if you haven't seen it before, but it's the Silodoc Tools wallet that allows us to not even need a PayPal account uh, in this process um, to where the wallet, all of those functions allow us to do that completely, safely, compliantly, um, and uh, all automatically at the same time. So again, you can see just how quick and easy it is to get this configured was the biggest thing without question as we rolled out rebate automation, kind of uh, beginner sellers struggling with some of the complexity, but the setup now is just really, really simple. It's the things that you would think of. What well, product am I giving away? How many do I want to give away? And some of the important links and information. And Troy, why don't you real quick show them where to put in their API information through the app? Yeah. So where you would find that is under settings under apps in ManyChat. And then from here, you can actually add in your Seller Tools uh, test key, which again, you can use to uh, run different tests. Uh, uh, similarly to, you know, with us adding PayPal, you can use that to kind of test uh, PayPal before you turn it live. And that's where your live API key uh, will be utilized. And that's really a one-time step. So once you come in here, and it, now that you remember when we added in our template, when we added in our mini chat flow, it automatically brought in the Seller Tools mini chat app that you see here. And then it gives us that opportunity to uh, update our API keys. So from there, I think it's important to touch on the wallet. Now, this is really where uh, it's a major feature and touch point to facilitate uh, whether we, again, set things up automatically through some free many chat flows, any customi customizations we made to those flows. And this is the hub for all of that activity. So all that we need to do within our wallet is of course, make sure that we add funds. It's an essential step. And then once we do that, it opens up the potential again to automatically use PayPal gift cards, pick reward link, or you can have your team um, or yourself manually 
send funds. And so we have a number of options here. And Ian, as we touched on, some of these will be recently live. Um, and uh, this again allows you to, uh, if you still wanna manually run rebate campaigns, if you wanna run a different incentivized loyalty campaigns, um, there's all kinds of ways that you can use the value that we're sharing with our customers. Obviously rebates is kind of the more, one of the more obvious ones, um, but this just opens up a lot of opportunity to know what's gonna land for your customer, what's gonna make that process seamless, um, and a good buying experience, good experience with your brand, uh, no matter the strategy that you run. Yeah, and that's actually something that we never really talk about. But like, if you are nervous about automating this payment process, maybe you're nervous about abuse, maybe you're nervous about how you set up the bot, and you're just nervous of it automatically sending people money, you really can just go this manual route and just send funds. Obviously, it's going to take a lot more of your time to constantly be checking your inbox, checking your mini chat inbox and, and seeing the messages, but you really could just send out these type of rebates manually uh, if you or you have a VA that can go ahead and process these. Yep, absolutely. It's a great point. And more, it's, it's great to sort of be willing to take that as the first step, right? You're seeing how powerful rebates are. You know, more sellers at all levels, again, are hearing kind of the buzz about it. And it's that hesitation to getting started. And so manually doing this, even if again, you utilize our free flows, that is the, the quick and easy way to get started and give yourself a little bit of assurance and then confidence um, before you, you flip the switch to automatically running it. Awesome, guys. Well, um, if, if this looks intriguing and you have questions and maybe you don't want to do this yourself and you want somebody else to do this for you, me and my team would love to help you out. Uh, feel free to book a free consulting call by going to evolvemedia.agency and then you can book a call with me. You, again, you get a, uh, I don't know if we mentioned this, but you get a free 14-day trial with Seller Tools. If you go to seller.tools, you can sign up today if you're not yet a member and you can uh, take advantage of that 14-day free trial. Troy, anything else you want to add in before we wrap it up? No, Ian, I think this is, again, an exciting release. Uh, it's made all the easier by taking, you know, utilizing it as to what makes sense for you manually, automatically, free resources in terms of free mini chat flows. So a, there's just no excuse to getting started and tapping into these advanced strategies. Again, it's just made all the easier now. So really excited uh, to get this in everybody's hands. Awesome. Well, thanks again, guys, for watching. Be sure to click that thumbs up button and we'll catch you in the next one.